Hi Andrew, how are you doing? Oh hi Drake, I was thinking of trying tobacco out to see what it would feel like. Dude. Wait a minute. Why do you want to try that? It can make you real sick. I just want to try one. That can't hurt me too bad. Sometimes it takes just one for someone to become addicted. Do you really want that? That won't happen to me. It's just one cigarette. Man, weren't you paying attention in health class? We learned that cigarettes are one of the most famous substances people get hooked on. You are going to be one of those people if you are not careful. I was listening in class. I will be careful, and I still want to try one. Tobacco has something in it called nicotine that will get you hooked on it. What is nicotine? What does it do? It's an ingredient in cigarettes that will change the way you think about tobacco. Are there any other effects that I should be worried about? Yes, there are more effects that you should be worried about. Oh, what are they? You can cough. You will smell bad and your teeth turn yellow. Emphysema can happen or lung cancer. You can even have a stroke or heart attack. The worst is death. Death. I didn't know it caused death. My great grandpa had a heart attack. He smoked cigars. I didn't know that could cause it. Yes. It could have been the reason. The nicotine and carbon dioxide gets into your oil stream and constricts arteries. It can cause clotting that can lead to a blockage of the arteries. Your oil can't run freely because of the plaque buildup in your arteries and can cause a heart attack or a stroke. What does emphysema do to you? It makes it very difficult to breathe. That means playing sports and running around will be harder. What about lung cancer? Is this just from breathing the smoke? Well, sort of, but not really. Lung cancer is caused by the tar in tobacco. Tar? That's not cool. I thought tar was on the roads. No, not just on the roads. They put it in cigarettes and it coats your lungs and makes them black. Wow, that's crazy. I'm not sure I like the sounds of that. Are there any other cancers that it can cause? Yes, many kinds. Cancer can be caused in your lips, mouth, throat, larynx, bladder, pancreas, stomach, and kidney. Girls can get cancer in their cervix even. Seriously? That's a lot of types of cancer? Yes, so your chances of developing cancer are very high when you smoke. How many high school kids like us are smoking tobacco? Over 12,813 in New York State reported they had tried cigarettes in 2011. How many of them still smoke? 1,126 kids never tried quitting smoking. The report I read said this was reported for the 12 months before they took the survey in 2011. They may have tried to stop by now. I would hope so. Are there lots of people in the United States that smoke? Yes. In fact, 88% of these people started smoking before they turned 18. And nearly 20% of high school students smoke cigarettes. They say that every day 3,600 people under the age of 18 try their first cigarette. You are going to be one of that statistic if you try one. Well, if I do decide not to smoke, some of my other friends smoke and keep telling me to try it. What then? You can tell them you don't like the idea and tell them some reasons why they should stop smoking. You could also just walk away. Let's see. The types of facts I can tell them would be things like the cancers, emphysema, smelling like smoke, yellow teeth, and things like that. Right? Yes. What other types of things will you tell them are reasons to not smoke? It costs a lot of money, doesn't it? Yes, it does. In New York State, a pack of cigarettes costs around 9 or $10 a pack. That has 20 cigarettes in the pack. 
Some people smoke more than one pack a day. Just think of what kind of video games we can buy instead of cigarettes. I guess so. I want that new Xbox 360 game called NBA 2013. If I saved the money from six or seven packs of cigarettes I would be able to buy it. Cool. There are other reasons you can tell them it would be good to stop. There are many medical benefits that can start happening very quickly. Oh really? What are they? I'd like to know so I can tell them and help them stop smoking. Cool. Within 20 minutes your heart rate will calm down. The adrenaline will stop flowing that is caused by the nicotine. Wow, that's great. But that won't be enough for them to stop smoking. They like adrenaline rushes. Is there more? They say within 8 hours there is more oxygen in your blood. Mucus begins to clear out of your lungs and makes breathing easier. You will cough till it gets out, but then the coughing will stop after all that garbage gets out of your lungs. Great. That's another good point. I'm listening. Within 48 hours, 2 days, things smell and taste better. Also, within 3 months, your blood circulation improves, and your body is better able to fight infection. I like those benefits. I don't like being sick. Within 9 months you have less sinus congestion, wheezing, and shortness of breath. Wow! All that in under a year. Is that for people that smoke for many years or just for people that have smoked a little? That is for anybody. They say it's never too late to stop smoking. After one year, your risk of dying of heart attack is cut in half. After five years, you have much less chance of having a stroke. And after ten years, your risk of getting lung cancer is cut in half. Cool, huh? Very cool. I think it is better for me not to start smoking. But is it bad for me to be around my friends that do smoke? Even if I don't smoke a cigarette myself? Yes. That is still bad. It is called second and smoke. Second and smoke? What is second and smoke? Children exposed to second hand smoke can get pneumonia, bronchitis, ear infections, severe asthma. Adults that are around smokers are more prone to get heart disease or lung cancer. They don't even have to smoke themselves. Secondhand smoke has the bad tar and stuff in it still that can affect your body without actually smoking. That's crazy. I don't think I even want to be around smokers. How can I avoid it? Well, most places you go you can't smoke inside anymore. Don't allow anyone to smoke in your car or home. If they are smoking in their house around you, you can politely excuse yourself and go home if you want. Did you also know that someone pregnant can cause problems for their baby that is unborn by smoking? No, I didn't know that. That's not good. The baby doesn't even have a choice. No they don't. So what do you think about trying that cigarette now my friend? I don't think I want to deal with all the problems just to smoke with my friends. I am deciding not to even try that one that I wanted. Also. I'm going to see if I can help my friends decide to stop smoking now before they get real sick. That's awesome dude. I'm proud of you. I'll help you stick to your decision any way I can. Let's go play a video game.